Hey there, nice cool day out here today. And uh, saw some stuff lately about um, the media and how the media is owned by the corporations basically and serve their interests and uh, basically what happens with people is that, uh, especially with politics, is that uh, they got a slanted view on things and it's basically uh, designed to be divisive. And so it's created quite a mess. And also the media does not uh, report a whole lot of things that are quite important, having to do with the war machine, um, what's really going on behind the scenes and things like that. So it's very much sort of a distraction and um, I don't know, you call it misinformation, but basically uh, camouflage and um, false flags basically throwing up things, you know, all the time that, uh, you know, political personality stuff. Oh, look what they said, look what they did, you know, things like that. So it turns into this endless circus. But uh, anyway, I hear people talking a good bit, uh, other YouTube channels, documentaries and things about, you know, how we, you know, how to get out of this mess that we're in, you know, economics and war and poverty and drugs and health care and all these things. And uh, in a lot of ways, it seems strange to me because you, I think, have to know how we got here. So... If you imagine, for example, uh, an animal in a zoo, you know, it could be a chimpanzee or something like that. And basically you make the chimpanzee work. So it has to push buttons all day and do things and, you know, physical labor, stuff like that. In order to um, have air, water, and food. And then, uh, you know, say, for example, different things happen. Oh, I don't know, you know, one chimp in the group becomes famous and tries to lead a revolt and then it fails and da da da. And then they're all back in subjugation again. And this goes on for generation after generation, for hundreds of years. These captive monkeys, not Planet of the Apes exactly, uh, you know, in the zoo. And then when they're trying to figure out you know, how to fix this, these problems they have. All they know how to do is look back at the history of the previous revolts and, you know, the, the, the politics and all the other aspects of what they've been through and how they've been treated. But they never go back to a primal state. Where it's like, well, what were you before you were in the zoo? So, with people, basically, you know, you got thousands of years of history going back. It's all a mess, for the most part. And uh, people try to untangle things, so they wallow around in all this history and all this mess. And, you know, and it's like, well, what do we do? You know, it's like, well, when you're trapped within that, that idea, that system, it's like, well, you know, economics is what it's all about. And you have unions and strikes and, you know, the moneyed interests, the 1% or less who are, you know, trying to control everything. And we have to organize to take things back. You know, it's been going on for centuries. Um, it's not ever going to change <laughs> because as long as money is the primary goal, Whoever accumulates a bunch of it is going to think that they're, you know, superior in some way and that, are, that they are uh, therefore designated to make decisions about society and how things run and how to maintain their, their profits and their dominance. So um, if you basically erase all that, erase history and think about how... Um, people should be in an ideal state. Well, in an ideal state, you would not have money. You wouldn't have companies. You wouldn't have labor. You wouldn't have all these things. You would have everybody basically in cooperation. So some models of uh, systems 
they're linear, you know, where it's like you have this at this end and this at the other end, the right or the left, you know, in politics, or you have progress where it's like you're going up, you know, wages are going up or things are going down, graphs, things like that. Well, when people are in cooperation, it's circular. Uh, everything in the universe is circular. Solar systems, atoms, the moon, <laughs> the tides, everything is circular. So if people are in a circle, and uh, you know, indigenous people knew this quite well. They, uh, especially in the Americas, they referred to you know, the circle quite a bit. And uh, that means that everyone is equal and everyone is together. And what we're seeing with the news media and politics and things like that, it is intentionally designed to drive people apart. And as long as they're apart, the, the people upstairs, these companies, are safe. Because um, not only do they try to remain in, as invisible, you know, behind the scenes as much as possible, but when people are distracted by these, you know, drama shows going on, then it's far less likely that they're going to ever cooperate with each other. So anyway, um, some people try to, you know, basically return to the universe, return to the earth, things like that. And that's basically what you're talking about, because this body that we have, what is this? It's not technology. It's part of the, it's part of the earth. It's part of the universe. It's what's going on up here that's uh, detached from it. So you're seeing movements right now in America and around the world where people are trying to become independent, uh, farming and growing their own crops, livestock, things like that, to try to escape from the uh, economic um, trap, prison basically. And what's happening is corporations are getting the government to crack down on these people come take away their assets, claim that they're polluting the groundwater, all kinds of things like that, because they don't want this to become a movement where people can escape the system and function independently. So that's something to think about. And, uh, you know, there might be ways to raise chickens in secret, you know, secret chicken farm or grow food uh, you know, I don't know, in your attic or something, or, well, you can grow mushrooms, you know. But, uh, anyway, uh, this is the trouble, I think, that there, a larger perspective is lacking when looking at these problems, and also the perspective is limited because we look at things basically in terms of the period of time where the clusterfuck began. You know, which basically pretty much started with the ancient Greeks. They started labeling everything. Blah, blah, that's that. This is that. Words, 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 you know. And they became mentally detached from the universe. So anyway, um, I'll leave it there for today. Adios.